Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your great NSC in the place to be. Yeah, today I'm going to show you how you can make a BIOS update on an older motherboard. Um, some older motherboards, uh, the BIOS updates are not that easy. Um, some people uh, maybe will as not know how to do that exactly. Um, this can be really very hard for you guys. That's why I'm doing this video for you. Um, I already had a lot of people that had a lot of problems also a long time ago, let's say uh, 7 or 10, 15 years ago to do this BIOS updates because this BIOS updates on the older motherboards they are really a bit difficult and you need to type all we can say yourself. So it's not like on the new motherboards where you just get your USB pen inside and it gets all into automatically. Um, on older motherboards just like on this one here, you need to do all the most yourself. So um, normally you just need also a floppy drive or we can say um, yeah, CD-ROM or you can do that all also over an USB uh, drive. So um, when you do that over your USB pen, you will need to do your USB stick bootable. That means uh, your USB stick uh, needs to be bootable into DOS, into the DOS system. Um, you can Google it, you need to search it and you will need to look it yourself. I think I got somewhere also a video on my YouTube channel where I have, we can say, make a bootable USB stick or USB pen. Um, it's not that difficult, but on this video I'm just showing you guys how you can, we can say, do that. So we are here on a MSI MS7357 motherboard and this is really an older one and here you will need to type the most alone. You, you need to write the BIOS update yourself we can say and I'm gonna show you that. For first um, you should always, before you begin, you should, um, wait the light is disturbing, you should of course, uh, yeah, load default settings, so just reset all and save that, okay? Yeah, maybe I'm gonna post you uh, also on the video description, we can say um, the links where you can get all the stuff that you can make your USB bootable. So here you go now, we have just already um, yeah, set all back, we can say we have set our default settings and now you go here and you search uh, the boot option, wait, I need to check myself, here boot sequence and here you just type your USB pen which is here uh, the Patriot memory, okay, here and you can see it also over here, it will blink. So now just save it and exit. It should now start over the USB pen. Here we go, he's working already. So here we are now. Now you can see you are now over your USB stick, okay? You are now over the USB pen and now you can just type dear and then you will see all what you are what you got on your USB drive. So here let me just um try to uh get the monitor we can say yeah, fix it, but I don't know if this will be possible. Oop, I don't know the symbols here, but maybe like that. Let's see. Okay, so. Because here on the left side I cannot read or I'm not able, but I think it's okay. Um, now, you will need to search for first, we can say um, from the vendor, let's say if you have download a BIOS update from MSI, you will get two files, we can say. One 
is the afudos file, which is also .x, and the other one is, we can say, the BIOS update. Okay, here's the BIOS update, and you can see also it has over a megabyte. Okay, here this is just the X that you will need to start. Okay, so a lot of people see get confused because they don't know what to write here inside. So here that means I have just downloaded these two files here, and you're gonna first give him the command for the X. And after the command, you will need to give him again one command for the, uh, we can say, BIOS update. That means now, you just go there and you just write afood4310 um, and then you just type space. And now, because you don't need type X, I think <laughs> uh, it's, it was very long ago, so let me check. Let me just think about. It. I think you don't need to type X, um, and then you just type uh, the BIOS name. Okay, you need now to give him the command. That means he should start the tool to we can say flash this BIOS file. Okay, it's a bit complicated, but some people they just go here and they just type dot X, and uh, this will start. You will have here a lot more stuff, but um, at last you will not know what to type because you will maybe think you need to type reboot right now, yeah? But when I type reboot right now, it happens nothing. It's just say bad command or file name and it will always hap happen like that, okay? If you, um, let's do again, a food. Um, Four three one zero dot x. Okay, and now you can see also the command lines. So and somewhere it's also written uh, usage a foodos and then rom file name. Okay, option one, option two, and and and. And here sometimes you maybe will just type the rom name, or maybe you will just type again a foodos and the rom name, but this will not work. And this is always a bit complicated. The old school stuff here is a bit, <laughs> it's a bit strange. But let's go again. And uh, sometimes you got other letters like S and all. You can just try to type this. All this will not work always. Sometimes yes, sometimes not. It confirms, it confirms which motherboard you got. But for now, let's type again dear. And now you are again back to your USB pen. So now we're gonna write again our food. Um, 4310, you don't need to type X, I just have show you right now. You can type dot X, but it also works without, okay? So, and now we're gonna just type the uh, BIOS name file, that's this one here. Okay, so let's go A7357, E, M, S or IMS. So, let's go. Problem, no, 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 okay. So now, I see the command line was not full written. So that means you need to type here IMS dot one four zero. This should work now. Here we go, yeah. Now it's working. So he is now doing the BIOS update. Yeah, here, yeah, take a look. Yeah, it looks not so nice like on the newest motherboards. <laughs> but uh, this is how you need to do it. And it's, um, we can say, um, important that you first um, set all the uh, uh, settings to default on the BIOS. You go inside BIOS and you just set default settings. Just press on default settings and then um, you just leave it away. So this will not just erase all the BIOS chip and it, it will uh, clean it again. It will write the new BIOS. It will, uh, we can say, delete the CMOS. 
and uh, after that you are finished. Now just go there and press CTRL, Alt and Delete and so you will be able to restart we can say your computer okay here press um, CTRL Alt and Delete okay guys now get inside again quickly after it's uh, restarting get in again and then press F1 to run setup. Here we go. So let me just put the lights over there. So otherwise this will be just reflecting. Here, now again, after the BIOS update, you need again to load optimized defaults. Here we go. Yes, F10 and save. So, after that, this should be now the BIOS update 1.14 1 uh, or 1.4, can't remember, before it was 1.3, 1, three, one uh, wait, no, 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 so, yeah, here we go, BIOS version, version 1.4, okay guys, so, we are good to go not now. And um, yeah, like this right now, you can now uh, use just your motherboard like you showed and do the rest. And uh, maybe you just wanted to, um, yeah, we can say upgrade your CPU and maybe it was not working. Maybe you had some stress with the BIOS and yeah, this was the, we can say old school <laughs> technique to flash we can say uh, the BIOS update on all the motherboards all right guys this was all for me and see in the place to be bye bye see ya soon and yeah take care have a nice time